old changes some beer and bill some beer, eh? In the old RC cars. Freaking right. The old X Max there. When I hit the post there and blew her apart that one time, boys and girls, I, I, I noticed I had a bad bearing on the inside and I didn't have any bearings for the inside. I had outers, but no inners, boys. So now I got inners and outers, I do. So we're gonna rip this thing apart here. We're right here. And we're gonna slap a bearing into her. Slap a bearing or two into her, boys. And I'm hoping I can get both angles of the old dangles here, but we'll have to see what happens. So let's get this tire off. And I can't remember if it was front or rear. So we're gonna have to find out, boys. We're gonna have to just take a gander, we are. But she's pretty clean, she is. I gave her a good hose job, I did. I have a bad feeling that it's the other one, the front. But hey, it is what it is, it is. So I should get two cameras set up here so you can see what's really going on. But uh, I don't feel like it. Frig, no, I don't. So we'll pull this out here, like so. I don't know if you can see or not, boys. I'm trying to friggin' figure this out, so I only need one camera tonight. So I don't feel like doing a nightmare of editing. Can you see me? Decent. Can you see me? Decent. So hopefully I get you in the old footerushki, and we'll pull this out like so. Like so. And we'll grab the old needle ski nosers, and we'll pull out this little clippy clippy, like so. We'll pull off this ding dong. We'll push out this ding dong, like so, and hopefully I can just tip her down and look at her fall out, boys. She fell right out, she did. Friggin' right it did. So there's a dry shaft. For the old X-Max. Now this bearing's still working, but she don't feel too good. So let's pop that sucker out of there, and we'll put a new one in, and we'll just clean up this one later on, so I have a spare, boys. So there's one bearing out, hey? I need some rags, boys. They're dirty. Big time dirty. So we'll clean that up, and we'll feel it. Oh, she's rough. She has some friggin' clicks on her, she does. So we'll pull out these bad boys, and I'll put the link below for these too. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and like, of course. And uh, let's see how they fit in there. Oh, they're decent. Friggin' right, they're decent. Slid right in there, guys. Girls, peoples. So we'll slide this back in, like so. Uh-oh, uh-oh, boys. Let me feel the inner bearing. I wanna feel the outer bearing, too. The outer bearing's still good, so we're not gonna change that one. Frig no, we're not. We're only gonna change the ones that you change it. Why wouldn't we? So we'll slap that back in here, like so, if I can see. Hey, if I can see. It's raining out tonight, so there's not much to do, really, except for change some bearings on the old X-Max. Why is that so far out of whack? Holy. That's just right out of whack, it is. So we'll slide the pin back in, and there's not much to it, boys. This is a pretty easy freaking job, it is. Always be easy, careful, gentle. Well, that's why I'm not using the old Gunner Ruski on this, because I'll just dick it over with the torque monster, I will. So we'll slide that back on. We'll slide the pin back on like so, and we'll put the tire back on like so, and we can call her a day on that one. So that was like a two second job, boys. That didn't take long at all on the old X Max. You should see the height they got on this thing on the weekend, boys. I'm telling you, girls, peoples, it was freaking decent. And I'm really apologized. Like I said, I didn't get any video of it. We'll get some, don't worry. I didn't break anything on the weekend. It was freaking awesome. Well, I shouldn't say that. I broke the drive shaft on the old slash I did. Freaking right I did. So I fixed that in a heartbeat. And Bob's your uncle. So now we'll go to the front one, we will. Give this a little turny turny. Easy, careful, gentle, boys. Get that thing out of my way. And we'll undo this one. Like so. so we'll put that aside. We'll pull the tire off. Oh, decent. We'll pull this off. Decent. We'll pull this off. Decent. And we'll pull a pin. We'll pull the old pin We'll pull the same pin and see if we can do it the same way because that was freaking nice. Last time I pulled this one, I don't think I need to, boys. I think this one will work just fine right here. So we'll yank this thing out like so. We'll push the pin out like so and we should be able to get her out, boys. Oh, maybe not, boys. Ah, for frig's sakes. Why wouldn't we have to? I don't wanna. Let's just pull this pin out down here. There we go. That worked. You're right, it did. Look at the mess of that thing. Let's get that wiped off. I'm gonna make a mess, I am. Freaking right, I am. So see how that one has some skid marks going on? That means she's been wearing. That means that's been turning in the bearing. So that one's definitely, I think, one of our problems. And it's dirtier than dicks. Oh, frig. Dirtier than dicks it is. So let's get that out of there and we'll give that a field job and see how she feels, boys. I'm pretty sure this is a bad one because it don't look too healthy. It don't frig no. Oh. It's still spinning. What the frig? Am I working on the right side of this truck? I know damn well I had a bearing that was bad. And that one's good. Oh, what's really going on? Maybe the WD-40 I sprayed on her is doing its job. Maybe that's what's going on. Because I don't know what's really going on anymore. Obviously, I don't have a clue what I'm even talking about right now. Oh, easy. So there we go. We clean out that. We'll throw this bearing back in. And we'll put another new one in just because it's a part. Why wouldn't I? You know what? This is a pain in the balls. I'm going to put it on here first, I am. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
they're tight. Why is that so damn tight? Oh, beauty fit. Friggin' right, it's a beauty fit. So we'll slide this in here like this, and we'll give her a push. And this is probably the easiest way to put a bear in. Friggin' right it is. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Easy on the race, boys. Well, that's definitely all the way in. And that one's definitely all the way in. And we'll make sure the old Pinaruski goes on before we get too far here, because I don't want to have it half cocked over by the time I'm done here. What's really going on? They're the same size. There must be dirt in here or something. For God's sakes, why wouldn't there be dirt in here? So make sure you clean out the dirt that's in the little doodad for the, where the Baron goes, because that's what I think's going on here. Freaking ready to do. So make sure there's no dirt in there. Clean her out real good. We'll clean this back off again, because I got dirt all over it. And we'll try slide her in again. Try the old push. Oh, there we go. That's better. Went in that time. Friggin' right it did. So that's what I did wrong. Boys and girls and peoples. I didn't clean the old dirt ruski out. Where'd my pin go? There she is, boys. Slide the old pin back in. <sighs> ooh, eh? Ooh. We'll slide this back in here. Put this back in here like so. Put that back on there like so. Slide this pin back in here like so. Slide this pin back in here like so. And we'll put the screws in. And guess what? We can call her done, we can. Must have been the other side with the bad bearing, boys. Oh, oh, just put the screws to her, boys. I did have the whole truck disassembled, so now I'm gonna have to disassemble all four tires just to figure out which bearing was bad. I know I have a bad one. And we'll find it together, we will. The dirty old RC Love Belson will find her. Why wouldn't we? Somebody's gotta find her, holy. Oh, I'm not into this part at all. All right, so we'll slot the tire back on this side. Get in there, you son of a beaver. Decent, flip it around like so. Decent. And we'll go for this front end. Let's see if it's this side. It's definitely gonna be one of them. Tire off, doodad off, whatnot off, bring them a roller thing or bobber off. Tell you one thing, spray your RCs with WD-40 or any kind of penetrating oil. And I'm telling you boys and girls, she looks friggin' mint. You gotta lube her up with the old once in a while you do. Hey, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. Why wouldn't I? Nothing like a real fart. Jim. Oh yeah, I gotta push the pins out. See, I'm ahead of myself here. My fart threw me off, boys. You old Bilsa's butt crack there just throw me right off. Whack. It's cocking over the program. Oh my God, I need another rag. That's just horrible. So we'll clean this off like so. Everything feels good there still. Oh yeah, just getting all greasy. To all hell we are. So pull this bit. There goes that pin again. I keep losing that pin, boys. I must have a magnetization happening on this old pair of plier skis here. So there's that bearing. Oh, she feels like bad, man. That bearing does not feel good at all. That one can go aside and we'll put a new one in. But we gotta clean her out first, remember, eh? Clean her out first. We do. I wonder how many people out there with RCs run these things with seized up bearings and don't even bother checking them. I bet you a pile. Probably a pile, yes. Friggin' right. So we'll slide this bearing over here like this. We'll check the outer bearing. Slide this in here like this. We'll give her a pop ski like that. Throw this knob, knob ski on like so. Boys. Like that. We'll throw the pin on. Holy, this is just flying together it is. We'll slide this back in here like this. Perfect. Throw the pin and ski raw ski in there. Rusko pinsko ski. I add ski to a lot of things, don't I? I didn't even ski. Figure that one out. For sakes. My favorite word, eh? Anything that ends with a ski. Why wouldn't it ski? Why wouldn't it be ski? So we'll fast forward these going back in. You watching? Oh, I missed, boys. There we go. Slap the tire on. Always remember to do the maintenance on your RCs. Then they last longer. If you don't do the maintenance, then they burn stuff out faster than they do. And if you spend this kind of money on RCs, hope to God you freaking spend some time on maintenance. Like, for the sakes. If you don't, you have way too much money. Because if you don't spend this kind of money on something and you don't want to freaking check it once in a while, then you shouldn't have it. That's what I say. Whether you like it or not, that's what I say. It is. So we'll pull this one out. Can you see? Hopefully. Let me give you a little bit more of a cock. How's that, boys? Eh? A little bit more of the old khaki. So we'll pull this one out like so. The backs are so much easier to do, too. You want to take out one screw and one pin, boys. And the whole thing tips forward and everything falls apart. See? Decent. And that bearing's moving, too. So you know what? The seized up bearing I had, it unseized itself somehow. Ooh, that one feels like cock. Oh, this bearing's junk. Big time. That bearing is absolute garbage. She cannot go back in, but we'll keep her over here in case. So it was the outer bearing. One outer. I thought it was an inner for some reason, but hey, she's an outer. Inner, outer, upper, downer, who cares her, as long as we change her. That's what I say. Ah, oh, decent. Open this up, pull out one of these fast eddy bearings, boys. We'll pull out a fast eddy. Fast eddy for the fronty. 
Throw this back. Oh my God, boys. They feel nice, they do. We'll slap that in there like that. And we'll pick the best one we got. They all feel a little bit roughage. They need cleaning, boys. I'm not gonna put them back in. I'm gonna clean them up. Oh yeah, they're all a little rough. So we'll put another new one in the backside. If they're rough, change them. That's what I say. There you go, look at that, eh? Just like that. Slide the shaft in. Slap the old Pinaruski in. Slap the old screw Roski on. And put the old screw boys in. There we go. Changing bearings on the RC in less than 10 minutes, boys. Checking them and changing. Why wouldn't we? Decent. Freaking right it's decent. Look at that thing. Mint. He's mint, boys, besides the grease I put all over my table. But hey, I can clean that after I can. Friggin' right I can. We'll keep the old ones separate from the new ones, we will. And that's the way she goes. So 19 minutes in, and that's all it took me to change the bearings. So that's pretty freaking cool, right? Friggin' right it's cool. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and click the notification bell bar button there. And uh, make sure you share it, too. Why wouldn't you, hey? Sure are we, boys. So thanks for watching another episode of the... Uh, X-Max RC bearing replacement with the dirty old Vilsa. Hopefully everybody had a good night and kept busy like me on a rainy night. And that's the way she goes. And uh, you know what to do for now.